So once we have our anchors installed, we need to prepare attachment ropes and floats to install the nursery frames. During recent projects, we've trialled the implementation of multi-storey nurseries to maximise the use of space on the reef. You could use this same method for single storey nurseries, but for this demonstration we're going to show you how we've set up our ropes for multi-storey nurseries. We use a combination of knots to create the anchors for the nursery frames. These include a figure eight, a butterfly knot and a bowline. As long as your knots are solid, secure and appropriate for the situation, it doesn't really matter which knots you use. For this demonstration, we're going to show you the knots we use. A link to the details of how to construct these knots can be found in the description, but we'll run through it quickly. So the way we have our rope set up is this rope's probably about three metres long. It's 10 millimetre marine grade rope. So the first knot we're going to do is a bowline. And the bowline is going to go at the bottom of our anchor and it's going to attach to the anchor that is embedded in the substrate, the duckbill anchor that we will have seen in the other video. So that makes a static loop that doesn't move and each one of these loops is going to have a shackle on it and that shackle will get attached to the duckbill anchor to prevent rubbing against the rope directly and it wearing out like so. So then we have to think how high up do we want our first nursery. So I'm going to say it's going to be about half a metre and I'm going to do a butterfly knot and on here another shackle. So that's a knot in the middle of the rope and depending if I'm doing a multi-storey nursery I might want it about a metre above the other nursery. So this is for the first nursery with a shackle on it, second nursery with a shackle on it. I'll do another butterfly knot and then at the very top I need something to keep it buoyant. So I'm going to use my floats and I thread the floats through and to basically keep them secure on that rope I'm going to create a figure eight which is an overhand knot with a twist in it. And what that does is creates a nice fat knot that will stop your floats from coming off. But it also provides a loop onto which you can attach things like a, a dive flag or your camera if you're not using it or other things. So it makes it a bit functional. Once we have those, we use a pulley to pull them down from the surface to get them underwater and we attach them as I showed a little bit earlier to the duckbill anchor and that's where you'll need a buddy to help you attach those. And once you've got your four frame ropes set up underwater then you're ready to install your coral nurseries.